Alright, so I'm going to be making this video about the new Greenbridge jump, uh, Greenbridge jump method. Uh, there was an RTA viable setup found recently, found by Roblox. Uh, so shoutouts to him. Alright, so I'm going to be explaining how to do this trick from the very beginning. So, what you're going to do is you're going to enter the shop. And you're going to do shop clip. This is a 1.0 exclusive trick, so make sure you know your version of the game. Uh, more details about that will be in the description, probably. So you want to flip on the left wall. This will set your Z-coordinate to be far away so that you can flip behind this sign. So you clip out of bounds. So what you're going to do now is you're going to make sure Mario's left eye is past the sign, just barely. So like right there. It's not too precise. So what you want to do is you want to flip, and during the flip animation, you're going to hold up left. And you're going to pause once you see Mario start walking. Now, if you see Mario's like mustache clipped out of bounds now, you're good to walk up. If you don't see it, you just have to kind of tap up left and pause and keep doing that. So this time, you're pausing with the plus menu. So that makes you come to a complete stop, and you can just walk up once Mario's mustache is out of bounds. So now that you're out of bounds, you're going to walk forward until you just push past this wall. And you're going to move up until Mario's like barely in the wall. And you're going to move right now. This part's a little bit annoying. Uh, try not to fall out of the shop because that loses like 20 seconds. Uh, so now you're going to do a full speed jump to the right. And you want to be careful that you don't land in the door or farther to the right because you'll get pushed out. So you want to land just left or just to the right of the door and then you can just jump to the right here. So now what you're going to do is get the house fully off screen and then save. You can reset on this exact text box right here once it's fully on screen. So now you're going to reload your save file. Once you reload it, you'll be out of bounds and you'll have the map loaded, which is what we want. So now you want to make your way to this pipe and get right behind it, then flip. Now you're going to jump by doing a short jump and hold down a little bit after so that you push against this pipe. Uh, you can double check that you're pushing against the pipe by holding down right there. So now we get to the really precise part. After you pushed against the pipe, you want to walk left just to like uh, Green's house right there, just to the house that's past the pipe on the left. So once you've walked over there, you're going to face right, as you can see I'm facing right now. It's kind of hard to see. Uh, it doesn't really matter, though, as long as you know the inputs. So you're near the house, you're facing right. Uh, be, be careful that during these steps, you're not going to push against the pipe or the sign. So you just have to move a little bit left there. So now once you're faced right, you're going to do down left and home menu at the exact same time. What this will do is this will give you one frame of holding down left so if you face left after the home menu you might not be able to see it on this screen but you'll be able to see it on your tv at least if you have a big screen if you see mario facing left then it's most likely that you got the one frame input you technically could have went two frames but as long as you're pressing home menu and down left at like the same time this should not be failable if you're facing left you probably got the one frame now you're going to hold up for four frames and press home menu on the fourth frame of holding up. This part is quite hard. Uh, what I do is I hold up and then press home menu just like a certain time after. Uh, it's very comparable to doing a thudly jump when you press one then A, except this time it's up and then home menu. So you want to do up and then home menu. A good way I don't know if you could see it on my screen right now, but a good way to know if you got it is to look at Tippy when doing the the movement right before the home menu screen comes up. If Tippy is in like just diagonal of you, that means you probably got it. If Tippy is like further than that diagonal, then that means you're going to fall off. So what you'd want to do probably is hold down to get back on the seam and then push against the pipe and try again. If you see that, I accidentally pressed a random button. Uh, if you see that Tippy is not completely down left of you, you can do a backup where you do two more frames of up or three more frames of up, depending on how much you held on the first one. So you could try like a YOLO backup like that. 
Uh, but a good way to know if you got it is if Tippy is directly down left of you. Uh, you can tell on your TV, you might not be able to see here, but that's like the main part. So you're going to hold up and on the fourth frame, press home menu. If you fail this, you just have to flip again, jump to the pipe and try again. That's all there is to it. So one frame down left, so down left and home at the same time. And if you start facing left, that means you got it or you probably got it as long as you don't fail too much. And then up and then home menu. A certain amount of time after you kind of just have to get a feeling for that uh, but yeah the big thing is it's four f it's on the fourth frame of holding up that you press home menu so now once you've done these two movements and you are anywhere between like the house and the pipe anywhere between there it's not precise at all you can climb the plane by holding just straight up uh, co common knowledge is that this part is hard. No, it's not. You just have to climb anywhere between, like, the pipe and house. Um, it might even extend further left and further right, but just try and just be in that general area and hold up and you'll climb the scene. Just like that. So now once you get above the house, just a little bit above, you're going to let go of up and then hold right just after. You can let go of it for a long time, but you need to not hold like diagonals when you're climbing the seam. It has to be straight directions. Uh, so now you're going to walk up, pass a little bit above the house, then walk right. Now once you're vertically above where the gap is, where the bridge would be, you're going to walk straight up. Now you do this until Mario's just at the top of the screen. Maybe his head is off the top of the screen or like his feet are off the top of the screen it doesn't matter as long as you're pretty high on the screen this will work then what you're going to do is you're going to hold right and then jump a little bit after you just need momentum so once you've done the jump once you see mario very low like around here you're going to tap down right one time for just like a second or half a second and you're going to land over here and then you can hit the star block if you have any questions, please ask me. I might make another video about this more in depth. Uh, but yeah, this trick is estimated to save about 10 seconds over life stream jump. And with the possibility of saving 40 or 50 more seconds if you get a fast flower or slow flower. Alright, thank you guys for watching and be sure to leave a comment if you need anything.